The bodies of four soldiers killed in Afghanistan over the past week have been returned to their relatives in the UK today. They were flown to RAF Bryce Norton where, after a private ceremony, the cortege was escorted past the Memorial Garden in Carterton. A vigil was also held in Germany where three of the soldiers were based, Toby Sadler reports. With flags lowered, the cortege makes its way to the Memorial Garden. Four coffins and with them, the grief of four families made public. Behind them though, the support of hundreds of people drawn here to pay their respects. It's to support the families. And basically, I think that's the reason we're here, to support the families um, in their grief. Well, there's two comrades from my old regiment, 1st Queen's Dragoon Guards, and uh, being a family regiment, it's, we're just part of the wider family and come to pay my respects for two brave lads. It's heartwarming to see so many people here um, and it's a privilege to see them coming back. Um, so yeah, you've got to make every effort to come here. Earlier the families had private ceremonies at RAF Bryce Norton, one for each of the men killed. Lieutenant David Boyce was with first the Queen's Dragoon Guards. He died last Thursday in a bomb blast in Helmand. His family say they are immensely proud of him. He died with Lance Corporal Richard Scanlon, also from 1st, the Queen's Dragoon Guards. A veteran of Bosnia and Iraq, his family called him a great character. Three days later, Private Tom Lake was killed. He had been in the army for two years, serving with 1st Battalion, the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment. His mother said her son was proud to be a soldier. Lance Corporal Peter Eustis from 2nd Battalion, the Rifles, was the first of the men to die, killed by a homemade bomb last Wednesday. His family say he'll be missed by all. Three of the men were based in Germany. Troops there were led in a vigil by the Chief of the General Staff, General Sir Peter Wall, with prayers and poems for all the men read outside 20th Armoured Brigade headquarters in Senelaga. The bodies of the men have now been taken to the John Ratcliffe Hospital in Oxford before their families prepare private funerals. Toby Sadler, Forces News.